New Jersey. We have a jaded history with New Jersey. New Jersey was fine when I did it. I know you did it by yourself though. So like you're feeling like, man, no big deal. But I didn't go in the spring and um, I don't know. When we went south last year, almost a year ago or a little over a year ago, we had what looked like a pretty good window to go south. We didn't have an autopilot. So our plan was to hop. So we were only going to go down to like Atlantic City and then from Atlantic City to Cape May. But between... Sandy Hook, which is like the top point of the New Jersey coast. And three hours later, we ran into some pretty significant seas and the wind clocked up to like 30 knots, all of which was unforecasted. We were total noobs. It had been so long since we'd been on the ocean. We basically had forgotten all of our like ocean weather skills. It was just an all around bad experience. So we ended up ducking into Manasquan. We took the New Jersey ICW, which I'll link that card there, and then came out at Atlantic City and went to Cape May from Atlantic City. This time we are absolutely trying not to do the New Jersey ICW, if at all possible. And we are trying to go all the way to Cape May today. The weather forecast has looked fantastic all week for today. We are looking at northwest to west winds, five to ten knots. Everything looks good until yesterday. <laughs> the Euro forecast um, has a little bit of southwest winds coming in this afternoon that had not been predicted all week, has not been predicted on any other forecasting model, but that experience from last year is like still kind of like stuck in the back of my mind. So I'm having a lot of anxiety today about going. Problem with not going is that we will be here for at least another week. There's a really strong high pressure system coming in and with high pressure in this part of the world comes southwest winds. So southwest winds are not conducive for going southbound because we would be pounding into it. We talk a lot about how much the weather rules our lives, but it is a massive part of my anxiety. I have legitimately no fear of like the dark part of this, about the other ships part of this. It is literally all weather related. So the plan is to leave here around 9 a.m. Uh, it is a 20 hour run if we were to motor from here to Cape May. I think it's probably gonna take us closer to 22 to 24 because we're hoping to sail at least the morning this morning. Another problem with the New Jersey coast is no matter how you do it, um, you are going to have to do some part of it overnight unless you hop. And really Atlantic City and Cape May are your only two hopping options. So no matter how we dice it, unless we go overnight, we're going to end up arriving in the dark somewhere. We're delaying our departure so that we end up arriving in Cape May in the light because if we have to motor the whole thing, we should arrive somewhere around 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. Prep is done, dinghies on deck. The V-Birth has like all of the salon stuff that gets tossed around everywhere in waves. Snack packs are packed. Uh, we got passage pizza, which is super exciting. Into the unknown. Interesting little tidbit is that here in the northern part of New Jersey, as as far south as the glaciers came down during the Ice Age, everything north of here is basically glacier carved, which is why like in Maine and Massachusetts and Rhode Island, you can get right up to the coastline and it's still like 50 or 100 feet deep. It's because it was all glacier carved through the rock. South of here is where everything gets super flat and that's because those glacier deposits aren't there anymore. And basically everything south of here, if there's mountains, it was like tectonic plate driven and not glacial driven. It's a real change in kind of the landscape from here all the way to Florida is why you see these like really, really flat coastlines and basically why earlier in the summer we were joking that our legs completely forgot what hills were because they just don't exist near the coastline south of here. But it's kind of interesting because here in Atlantic Highlands you can basically see 
where it stopped because there's like a ridge of, of a hill here and then nothing after that is perfectly flat. It's crazy. We just put the anchor down here in Cape May. I feel like this huge weight has been lifted because this has been the part of this trip south that I've been dreading the most and it's over and done with and I'm pretty freaking proud of us because we did it. This is like the best idea that anyone has ever had and I'm not taking credit for it. Oh my God, barbecue sauce on myself. 